G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, I was just watching my YouTubes and saw Scott Manley and he's having a go at Flat Earth and this was funny. Uh, I write for many of the, us. What do you think is behind all the Flat Earth nonsense? I think that the... Um, well, I, I was going to make some joke about the, the horizon is behind them, that doesn't mean... Here, let me help you out, Scott. I don't know what's behind Flat Earth. I do know what Flat Earth isn't behind, the horizon crickets um because it can't be because it isn't one well i died like the black swan on that one didn't i back to you scott can he yeah never mind like, hot, flat earth look people want to believe things right if people are conditioned to want to agree and believe things that reinforces their worldview and there's a lot of reasons why people might believe the world is flat, but a lot of it's just to do with not trusting the world that you see. I, there's all, right, first of all, there are a bunch of people out there just trolling for giggles, and you know... Don't forget t-shirt sales, they all got merch to flog. More power to you, but there's a lot of people who genuinely believe that the, the world is flat, and more importantly, they believe that it's flat because there's some sort of secret cabal that is messing with the world as we know it. And that explains why they have been such a failure at life. That's one thing that is very popular is if you've had some problems achieving success, if you can blame it on some big conspiracy theory, that really helps. Another, uh, ex another reason, piece of reasoning I heard, and this is very specific to a conversation I had with someone uh, who was a believer, and had later said they were not a believer in Flat Earth, was that uh, they were raised like in a very strict Christian environment. And one of their teachers basically told them that if the world can be explained by science, then it makes God less important. Therefore, they were arguing that Flat Earth had to be true because it made God more amazing. And First of all, I think that argument's bogus because I think if, if you're like a real super badass god, you're going to create a universe that's 17 billion, whatever, 56 billion light years across with hundreds of billions of galaxies and stars and stuff like You're not going to create a tiny little disc like this with a dome over it, right? You know, I don't think there's any compatibility problems there, but that's that's one another example that I very specifically heard. I think it's just compelling to some people, and I think it's also interesting there was that documentary that basically showed a lot of flat earth people had sort of slipped sideways into the Q-verse. You know, Scott, I love it when you guys go and do your little bit of flat earth trolling. So much better than what I can ever do. Thanks, mate. Bye.